This month, the United States Commerce Department launches its first application under the CHIPS Act to build more semiconductors inside the United States. However, officials in Taiwan say the U.S. push to build chips domestically could compromise their national security. VOA's Jessica Stone reports. Taiwan Semiconductor is building its second U.S. facility in Arizona, but Washington is calling for new applications to build an additional two locations for semiconductor research, development, and production inside the United States. Under the CHIPS Act, $39 billion in manufacturing incentives are up for grabs. Fundamentally, it's about making sure that uh, we make the chips that we need on our shores and fuel the innovation that we need to fuel in America so that we can have the moral authority and technological authority to lead in the world and maintain our national security. But Taiwanese officials worry that U.S. national security may come at a cost to their own. President Tsai Ing-wen refers to the semiconductor factories inside Taiwan as a so-called silicon shield, protecting the self-ruled island from a potential Chinese invasion. Taiwan Semiconductor's founder, Morris Cheng, explains in this 60 Minutes interview. Well, it means that uh, perhaps because our company provides a lot of uh, chips to the world, maybe uh, somebody will refrain from attacking it. If that person's priority is for economic well-being, I think they will refrain from attacking. Around the world, nations are pushing to expand the semiconductor supply chain. In January, Taiwan Semiconductor announced it is considering adding plants in Japan and Europe. That same month, Taiwan's government passed its own version of a CHIPS Act in an effort to maintain the Silicon Shield. This new Taiwanese CHIPS Act is really Taiwan's answer to try to balance producing chips outside of Taiwan with ensuring that it doesn't go completely outside of Taiwan and that they maintain their cutting edge. Andrea Visky of the Stimson Center in Washington says there's also evidence that Washington wants to protect the Silicon Shield. In February, Washington launched a forum to coordinate with Japan and South Korea on blocking China from gaining the ability to independently produce its own advanced memory chips. The end objective is to keep China uh, dependent on foreign technology because if it is able to produce this technology indigenously, then among other ramifications will be the potential end of, of um, Taiwan's silicon shield. Perhaps the most prominent sign of Washington's support, though, is the uptick in military aid to Taiwan. Just uh, last year, we notified 13 different sales uh, to Taiwan, which uh, is the largest single number of notifications for Taiwan. Uh, in the last 20 years. In early March, the Biden administration approved the sale of $619 million in new munitions to Taiwan. The 2022 Taiwan Policy Act also provides an additional $10 billion in loans to purchase weapons. Jessica Stone, VOA News, Washington.